Well, if you live, work, or you've been in downtown Bryan recently, you've heard the trains, but the city of Bryan may potentially take the next step in their quiet zone project during a city council meeting tomorrow. News 3's Tyler Hoskins spoke to some local business owners today. It's a familiar noise causing headaches for businesses in downtown Bryan. We have a lot of people that come in from different states, countries, or whatever, and they're not aware of the train, that how much it affects their sleep, business people, or anybody that comes in. The LaSalle Hotel says the noises sometimes cut into profits. We've had to offer refunds, we've had to ha offer drinks, or maybe even free meals, because, you know, we want to make sure that our guests is well taken care of. Across the street at 3rd on Main, owner Wade Beckman says the noise is ear piercing for those walking outside on First Friday. There's even places you can stand that um, when it comes by, I mean, you've got to kind of cover your ears. But I think the greatest obstacle and challenge is for both residential and, you know, the LaSalle Hotel. Tuesday, Brian may take steps on improvements to three more railroad crossings in phase one of the downtown quiet zone project. It's not something you can do overnight. So they started the process a long time ago and have had success in moving forward with different phases of it. And it's kind of exciting to hear that it's going to going to come our way. This resolution would cover safety improvements on streets and tracks, eventually meaning trains stay quiet as they roll through the heart of downtown. We would love to have that because it'll be better for our establishment, it'll be better for our business, it'll be better for the people that are coming in, you know, that share the wealth of Brian. In Brian, Tyler Hoskins, News 3. Phase one of the construction, which covers 11 crossings, began in the fall of 2021, but it faced delays. Now, if the resolution is approved, the cost of the next three crossings cannot exceed $146,000.